Development is right at the heart of uh, the climate change talks and so DFID has to play a key role in particular around adaptation. Um, the impacts of climate change as, as, as many know are already being felt by poor people around the world and particularly developing countries. It's agriculture that's being so heavily affected by climate change, probably more than any other sector. Where poor people live is where climate change is having an effect. There's a huge opportunity and a huge challenge around addressing uh, agriculture as an emitter of greenhouse gases. Um, uh, huge gains can be made in the efficiency of food production. Huge gains can be made in investing in technologies which, which not only make agriculture more resilient to the, the effects of climate change that I was talking about earlier, but reduce the emissions. If finance was to be made available um, for, for agriculture um, and if finance was to be available, made available for mitigation, how would that be monitored? The measurement and the monitoring and verification. How would emissions from soil carbon be addressed and how would the finance flow to small finance farmers? There's a terrific opportunity uh, to address the impacts of climate change on poor people by supporting farmers, farm businesses um, uh, to adapt to climate change. Um, and that finance can go in that direction. And so for DFID, that's a really key part uh, of what it will be doing. DFID will be doing that in partnership with the private sector, uh, very keen to work with small farmers, smallholder farmers, and bigger commercial agricultural businesses to develop a more sustainable intensification of agricultural production. And we'll do that in DFID by supporting national governments to, de to develop their national adaptation plans. Um, we'll be supporting international agricultural research and research at national level and finding the ways to encourage others, donors in particular, to work together to achieve these goals. There's a hope that a good outcome occurs in these UN climate talks, but whether there is or there isn't, there's work to be done, there's stuff to be got on with in addressing the impacts of climate change on agriculture and for agriculture to play its part in reducing greenhouse gas emissions.